April 7th, the trouble with trouble. Exodus chapter 6 verse 9 says, So Moses spoke thus to the children of Israel, but they did not heed Moses because of anguish of spirit and cruel bondage. An old fable says that Satan once held a sale and offered all the tools of his profession to anyone who would pay the price. They were spread out on the table and each one labeled hatred, malice, envy, despair, sickness, sensuality, the weapons we all know so well. But off to one side lay a harmless looking instrument marked discouragement. It was old and worn, but it was prized far above all the rest. When asked the reason why, the devil replied, because I can use this one so much more easily than the others. No one knows that it belongs to me. So with it, I can open doors that are tightly bolted against the others. Satan had certainly gotten inside the camp of the Israelites. They were totally discouraged. Moses had confronted Pharaoh, but instead of the deliverance they had been promised, they were experiencing even more cruel and unreasonable afflictions. Moses, whom they thought had been sent by God, seemed powerless before Pharaoh. Consequently, not only were the people discouraged, they became disobedient. They chose to no longer heed Moses' advice. Many Christians find that being obedient to God does not make life easier for them. Often standing up for the truth of God's word makes us the object of people's ridicule and even persecution. Don't be discouraged if afflictions come your way. This makes you part of a great and glorious cloud of witnesses who have experienced the same thing. And whatever you do, don't back away from your duty as a Christian just because you may experience difficulty. Ask God to show you how you can turn these afflictions into blessings for others and praise for Him. He did it for Moses. He'll do it for you. Brooding on your troubles only hatches discouragement. Amen.